I think I sort of walked into it backwards. I had been a sculpture student in college and I loved making sculptures, but I took a painting class and the professor that I had just made it all so approachable and easy. I had always thought of painting as this very high fine art with rabbit skin glue and stretching canvases and grinding your own paints and he made it kind of simple. We painted on scrap mat boards, scrap plywood. We primed everything with latex house paint. And I can't say that I've changed my ways much since then. I still love the idea that I can reuse pieces. The reason I think painting, especially landscape painting, became my medium of choice is because I, I loved being outside, specifically being outside in Maine. I'm Cooper Dragonette, and I'm a landscape painter here in Cape Elizabeth, Maine, and you're here in my home studio. You know, the Maine coast was kind of how I came to Maine, working with Outward Bound, sailing the Maine coast. It just seemed like a natural fit. I was sailing on the coast for a long time, and we were outside for three weeks at a stretch, morning, noon, and night, 24 hours a day. So I got to see that landscape at its best and at its worst, and it's just as beautiful in the fog as it is on a beautiful sunny day. I always start with a sketch. By doing those sketches, you just avoid all the pitfalls that you might normally if you just jump right into the painting. And I think you just have more of a chance for success if you make those sketches first. The nice thing about having just what you can put in the backpack is you don't have to make a lot of decisions. You know, I, I only have, I think, eight colors on my palette and I have a handful of brushes. Being outdoors painting in the field, I'm more focused. The car is parked at a meter, the tide is falling, the sun is fading. Versus when I'm in the studio, it's very easy to get distracted. And so being outside, I, I tend to be more productive almost in the, the window that I have to paint outdoors. And it's hard because you, you're trying to get it right. You definitely get more from your subject matter when you're standing in front of it. When you're there on site, it's amazing how much color there is, say, in the shadow, or how much more reflected light there might be that you don't normally see. I've tried to stay pretty true to the colors that I see, but I try to get a little more sense of heat and temperature and atmosphere with color that might not normally be present in what you see. Just being outside feels like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is, this is being a little more true to my nature. There's a lot of things I like to paint. So I, I wish I had just one thing I painted. I wish I just did one thing and did it over and over again. That would be easier. The one thing I am painting, at least for now, is I am always painting some aspect of the main landscape. I've always been drawn to the sort of quaintness of New England architecture, people making a living because they are living near the ocean. Yeah, you know, all those things kind of come together for me to make a painting from. I have a hard time putting the brush down at the end of the day. You have good days and bad days. And usually I'm really excited to get back to painting. There's always something that I've got to look forward to. It's pretty enjoyable. I always tell people painting is like fishing. You're never sure if you're going to catch something, but you have to go. If it was easy, it would be called catching. And so painting has that same element where, you know, I've stood in a lot of places trying to make a painting and nothing comes of it. I think you just have to keep going back. But it's a pretty nice thing to do with your time. And I feel pretty lucky to have found something that I'm good at, that I'm allowed to keep trying to get better at. 